Okay, before we get started, there are a few things that you're going to need to do this style. So being that my hair is curly right now, like I said, this is a wash and go. Um, I am not going to wash my hair and basically saw it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this style and I'm going to convert it into a perm rod set. So if you don't have a lot of time to wash your hair again, this would be the perfect video for you to try. So I have done a couple of perm rod sets in the past. I've done it on straight hair. I've done it on semi wet hair, but I've never done it in this state where it's been dry and it's curly. It's more of a wash and go. So I'm going to be really interested to see the results with this. So to save you guys time, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair. All you're going to need is some water. You're going to need to grab your Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus uh, Curl Enhancing Smoothing. And then we're going to get ready to set this style. All right, guys, let's get into the video. install that I am going to use and the reason why I alternated between the orange and the green is because in some sections of my hair it's way longer so I just thin those pieces out and to have more of a tighter curl in those areas so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to be back with the final results okay part two of this video we are now about to take these perm rods out and we're going to see how it worked with using the Shea Moisture Hibiscus and here we go the coconut. Um, I always get this so confused. The Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So we're going to see how these rods turned out using. This is my first time using this product for a rod set. So I'm really interested to see how it is going to turn out. So I'll what I did was I did set up under the dryer so um, to kind of help 
go ahead and set the hair on the rod but of course you can do no heat if you want um, if you have some time to spare and just let it dry um, naturally or air dry so it's totally up to you I've had my share of sleeping in perm rods, so um, as long as you're comfortable with doing it, that is totally fine. But if you are in a hurry, um, I would suggest sitting up under a hooded dryer to make sure that the hair is completely dry prior to taking out the perm rods. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take these out, and we're going to see the final look. So I've removed all the perm rods and for some reason I thought I was recording but it did not record me taking out the rods but anyway this is what it looks like with all the rods removed and um, I will count these and let you guys know what you know how many I used and of which ones looks like of the orange rods that I used I only used probably about the same so I'll use a few of the orange and I will total up um, how many of the green ones as well and let you guys know. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these strands and then we're going to fluff. 